Hey guys, it's Anthony House, and today I'm going to show you my short handy dandy notebook collection. So, I have four of them. And also, please note that shortly after I, a few days after I got the Joe's Holiday Notebook, the crayon that, that it used to come with, I accidentally whoops I meant to say I decided to give it away to a goodwill but yeah at least I still had it for it so other jumbo crayons fit in there perfectly just fine which is a pretty neat feature. So yeah, I'll get some more of these in the future, including the Draw Along Notebook and the Blue's Big Pajama Party Notebook and the Treasure Hunt Notebook. In the car notebook, the gold one, and the heart shaped version. So, yeah, same thing. Yes, I borrowed this crayon from my SpongeBob Crayon Candy Order notebook made by Flying Colors. Anyway, let's go on to this video. Here's my handcrafted Steve notebook. I already showed you in my videos earlier before. And this spirals plastic like something you find on a textbook, which is a turbo coil that she uses to make her handcrafted notebooks that she sells on her out online outlets. And yes, this spiral does have the crane catcher as well. Just like Domeless Engine said, does whatever the name says, it catches the crayon. The flying colors is amazing, but this one is also amazing as well, at least in my opinion. Toy version was made in 1998 and re-released re again in 1999 by Flying Colors. Yep, I already did a review about this, so check it out on my channel. Regular construction paper for pages. Nice page you just figure out Blue's Clues was really smart. Green, green stripe pattern, like always. Also gave a shiny finish achieved by a plastic tape. To prevent the label from peeling off. Let's see. Next up here is the Joe shirt notebook green version. This one's the store made version from Flying Colors. It has squares. And here's the crayon custom made wrapper to make it to match with this notebook. It's a green checker pattern. It's pretty cool. And sometimes I like to fix the spiral and that'll happen too on these, this notebook as well, the spiral will mess up. Here are the pages, dry erase, different colors, which were on the handcrafted version, it's made of cardstock, with, and all yellow, instead of regular construction, instead of dry erase pages. Yeah, you already know how 
how the pen capture is with the few spec. Both this one and the handcraft notebooks are both pretty good in my opinion. And I was lucky to get this one. And I remember when I was a kid. This was created in 2002 by Flying Colors and Jack's Pacific. Got in fair condition, even though it's kind of used. Or the pages are still intact, even though there might be a few creases on the top now. Because of the age. But yes, the dry erase pages are still intact. And what I have in my collection. And this takes me back to my childhood memories when I first got this, along with any other version. So here is my homemade notebook. That looks a tad different to the Rare Flying Colors version. This one's the Rare Handy Dandy Blue U Notebook that I made myself and got made to the same scale as the Flying Colors version. Add six holes. A regular Crayola Timber Crayon with spirals plastic and it's black instead of blue. But I'm okay with that. Use a jumbo cream. Because on the flying colors version it has a cool pencil design label for the crayon. Yes, I drew the picture of blue on it. With blue U on it. I had the lines on the top. I also did the back side as well. Even though I could have added some yellow outlining, but other than that, it's okay. The covers are made out of a uh, cardboard material from that Lego box that I had. And go into the shape. And on my version, version, the pages are white instead of yellow. But hey, at least they have the notebook paper form, or handwriting pad paper form, which is pretty cool. Side is hard for me to do, but at least I'm happy with how it turned out. And yes, the Flying Colors version was created in 2003. I think this version was probably originally made for when Blue Takes You to School came out, which might explain why they made this. Cool design. Looks pretty good. Okay. Here is Joe's Holiday Theme Notebook, another version that was never used in the series. Like I said, all the other jumbo crayons that from all the notebooks came with also fits in perfectly well in this one's spiral. However, it's still such a neat design, including this jingly thing. We're on the handcrafted version of it where it's just printed on and has a black outlining just like Joe's original default notebook. Pretty neat. This was created in 2004 by Flying Colors and Jack Specific. Dry erase pages.
you just figure out blue's clues because you're really smart. All flying colors notebook has this. Okay, I'm gonna show you this one. This one's a little bit hard to close, but you know, it's okay, I can move it up. Eventually I'll get the handcrafted version of Joe's default notebook, also known in the UK as Kevin's second super duper notebook. So yeah, and that's gonna do it for my Two thousand and twenty twenty one edition of my Blues Clues handy dandy notebook collection. Very glad to do this video for you. Good users who likes or hates Blues Clues, that's fine. I already respect your opinion as long as you respect mine. Anyway, gotta go and peace out.